Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, so last week I made a heaving line video um, and uh, how to coil a heaving line and send over a heaving line. And one of those things I talked about because um, <clears throat> I did get some feedback about don't using monkey's fists and I use something different. You can make a, um, a heaving line knot in the end of your line. But one thing that um, I discovered in my years of becoming a uh, doing as a deckhand was you can actually toss a line without having a heaving line, without having a monkey's fist, without having any kind of weight on that. You can use <clears throat> just the end of the line, right? The bitter end of the line or the, whatever you want to call that end, the working end, the end I'm going to toss over. So I thought I would show you guys real quick how I did that um, with nothing on it. Um, so when I make my coils, I usually leave the tail in just a little bit. And so this double braid nylon likes to uh, make figure eights when you coil it, which isn't ideal but i just don't fight it right um, i'm not really worried at this point this is like one of those situations where i just want to send a line over maybe i attach it to the end of a mooring line i don't have a heaving line i'm just gonna let it have its coils in there i'm not gonna make it super crazy um, and i might attach it off to the end of something in this case i'll probably just stand on it right but if i wanted to get over like towards the tall ship there, which I'm not going to throw it to the tall ship because I don't want it to get caught up on the tall ship. But um, if I wanted to just throw a coil, like a messenger line over, right? Same idea, same principle. I'm just not, um, oops. Um, I'm just not going to um, have a, anything on the end of it. So I'll coil up real quick. I wanted that to get messed up. But I want to send this line over there so that they have something to pull on. I don't have time to do a find a monkey's fist or a heaving line knot or whatever. They just need a line over there now. So same thing. I'm going to use the coil of the line to get it over there, right? And step on it. Okay. So same thing. Heads up. Right. And I've used the weight of the line to get it out fully extended. Now this line is heavier. Um, and if I made it wet, it would be super heavier, but it fully extended and I was able to use just the weight of the coil. Um, it wouldn't be ideal. I'm not throwing this, at least not me. I mean, I'm a big guy, but I'm not that big. I'm not gonna do, um, probably get a hundred foot extension or more out of this just because that's, you know, I'm not that, I guess, strong or whatever. But I'm simply just using this line to coil up. Nothing special, right? We just need to get a line over there. So I grab a little extra in my hands. Heads up. And I have a line over to the pier, over to the ship, something like that. So I hope that makes sense when I was talking about that, about how I could just send a line with nothing attached to the end of it and that would work for you. Um, so I hope you guys